hi, Kim. How dare you say that after all I've done for you? You haven't done anything. Yes, I have. Girls, you're beginning to disturb the other patrons. What seems to be the problem here? See, the problem is I have to do a report on Benjamin Franklin, and she has to do a report on the French and Indian Wars. You get it? Franklin, French, and Indian. Mm-hmm. You both need the F volume of the encyclopedia. Exactly, and she's hogging it. It will take her forever to copy her report. It will only take me a second to copy mine. Copy? Well, if all you're going to do is copy your reports, why don't you take the encyclopedia over to the photocopier and copy it over there? It'll be much easier. What? Are you kidding? Our teacher would flip out if we did something like that. Well, what's the difference between copying your report here and copying your report over there? Well, there is a difference. Hey! Well, not much of a difference, but have it your own way. Looks like trick-or-treat has come early this year. Huh? What? What are you talking about? That man over there. The one dressed up like... Benjamin Franklin? Hey, I'm never going to finish if you don't quit bugging me. I'll uh, be back in a second. Why are you dressed like Benjamin Franklin? Ah, riddles. George Washington used to tell riddles. And that as much as anything else made him the wonderful man that he was. Can you answer this one? Why is a cat's tail like a long journey? Why? Because it's fur to the end. Hmm? <laughs> cat's tails. Now, that's rather more hard than the one you asked me. Uh, let's see, why am I dressed up like um, Benjamin Franklin? Mm. Zounds, because I am Benjamin Franklin. Or rather, I am my own ghost. Uh, I'm afraid I died in 1790. The ghost of Benjamin Franklin. Right. You seem doubtful. Well, I've found that the best way to handle a doubting Thomas... That's is Kim. Uh, a doubting Kim is to make one's best case right from the start. Observe. <laughs> well? <laughs> I'll concede the point. Hmm. Clear thinking on your part. But what's a nice ghost like you doing in a place like this? Well, once a year, I like to take a tour of the libraries. I had a hand in founding the library system, you know. You must cause quite a disturbance looking like you do and disappearing and reappearing. Well, most people can't see or hear me. The fact that you can is a puzzlement. Maybe it's because I'm doing a report on you. I mean, I will be doing a report on you as soon as my friend Beth finishes copying her report. Copy? Yes. She's copying all the stuff on the French and Indian Wars. As soon as she's finished, I'll copy all the stuff about you. It's called a research. Odds fish. I don't know what that's called, but it is certainly not research. I feel an object lesson coming on. You know, you're the second person to get on my case about using the encyclopedia. What are you people, anti-encyclopedians? That's not it at all, Kim. Of course not. 
The encyclopedia is a wonderful research tool, but you should be using it to help you form your own thoughts, not take the place of your own thoughts. Well, what? Who was the first? First what? You said I was the second to get on your case about it. Who was the first? You were the first. You said I was the second. You were the first. He was the second. Hey, you're not Ben Franklin. Well, she's right, you know. I'm not. And here's my library card to prove it. Look, give me a break. I'm only 11. I don't have a whole lot of life experiences. All I know is that my teacher said, Kim, do a report on Benjamin Franklin. Three pages handwritten, two of type. Go to the library and do some research. In the first place, what do you know about the subject? Uh, in this case, uh, me. Uh, you flew a kite, and you hung out with Thomas Jefferson and those guys. Sink me, I hardly knew the man. As for that kite business, well, I've always considered my invention of bifocal lenses to be more useful, and not to mention my cure for smoky chimneys. Seems to me you know very little. That's why I went to the encyclopedia! <laughs> <laughs> that's why I went to the encyclopedia. And that's a good place to start. But when you go out to purchase clothing, do you do such a thing as uh, browse? You mean window shop? Sure. And why do you do this um, window shopping? To find out what's available. You know, to see what different stores have. It also helps me to find exactly what I want. Exactly so. Now, inasmuch as you know very little about me, why not window shop before you start your report? After all, there's so much information in any library, a library this size or a smaller one, for instance, such as you may have at your school. But how do you window shop in a library? Well, I imagine the process is much the same regardless of where you are. Here. Hmm. Well, you've already been here in the reference section. Yes. Yes, what? This is where the encyclopedia is. And it's where the encyclopedia is going to stay until I'm finished. So you already have an idea of what type of information can be found in the encyclopedia. How'd you do that? I did it. Yeah, yeah, sure. What about this section of the library? Here in periodicals, there's nothing but newspapers and magazines. They only have articles about recent stuff. No offense, but you're not all that recent. You're window shopping, remember? How much time could it take to look through the reader's guide and see if there is anything? And you are right. Because magazines and newspapers are published monthly, or weekly, or even daily, the most recent information does tend to be in periodicals. Let's see. Frankenstein. Frankfurters. Franklin! Hey, there's an article in the magazine. What's the article about? Uh, it says the article's about the discovery of some letters you wrote in 1778. Not the ones to King Louis the 16th of France. You wrote letters to kings? Some of my best friends were kings. It's terribly annoying when your letters to them get lost in the mail. Now, of course, sir, I shouldn't complain too loudly. I established the postal system, you know. Uh, maybe I'll make a note of this. I might want to check it out later. Of course, the thing the library has the most of is books. Now, I don't like to brag, but there have been quite a few written about me. Wait a minute. We're supposed to be window shopping, remember? I don't have time to read a whole book. Of course you don't, but you don't have to. You take this one, for instance. Ah, 
Franklin, 92F. Now, 92 is short for 920, which means biography, and F is for Franklin. Now, books are made up of parts, and those parts can be very useful, especially when you are window shopping. What parts? Well, the table of contents is one. It will give you an idea of how the book is laid out and what the separate chapters are about. Of course, uh, you may want more exact information, so you can turn to the index. Now, the index gives you a little more detail. For instance, you mentioned my kite experiments. Now, if you are just interested in that, you might look here. Kite experiment, uh, pages 84 through 85. Now, if you were just interested in that, you could simply turn to those particular pages and see what they had to say. Miss Vasquez, have you seen Kim? Um, yes, she's right over there. She's talking to herself again. She must be mad. Well, that's not very nice. No, I mean, she's probably mad because I'm taking so long with the encyclopedia. Oh, yes. How's that coming? I started thinking about what you said. About what? About how copying right out of the encyclopedia was no different than just copying it with the photocopy machine. Oh, so you decided to do a little research of your own and to write your report in your own words and thoughts. No, I decided to photocopy it. But I was only joking. A joking librarian? Hard to believe, isn't it? This is very interesting. I never knew you did so many things. In fact, you do so much, I don't know how to put it together. I mean, the report is only supposed to be three pages handwritten or two if typed. Well, now that you have an idea of the scope of the subject and you know some of the information that's available, why not do a breakdown? A what? A breakdown. List some of the points you want to cover and then put them in the order you want to cover them. Well, I think first I should write about when and where you were born and when and where you, excuse the expression, died. Mm, one gets used to it. General information, I guess. Then I want to write about some of your inventions and your work as a diplomat. You know, when you went to France as an ambassador. And a little bit about the things you wrote and published. This is pretty good. This sort of gives me a blueprint for my report. And the point is, these are the things you want to write about. And that fact will make this report different from all the other accounts of my life that have ever been written. But. I don't understand. I mean, I'm sure I'm not as smart as the people who wrote books about you. Hmm. Well, how smart you are is not the point. The point is you are totally unique, hmm? as am I, as is every individual person. No one feels exactly as you do. No one looks at things in exactly the same way as you look at them, nor does anyone have exactly the same thoughts. Now, the information in this building, and all the buildings like it, was not placed here to take the place of your thoughts. It is here to help you formulate your own thoughts. Even if it's a very small report, uh, uh, four pages handwritten, three if typed. That's three pages handwritten, two if typed. Three pages handwritten, two if typed. But I wonder how many are photocopied. What? Nothing. Sorry I took so long. You can copy your report now. Oh, I'm doing my report a different way. See, I didn't know much about Benjamin Franklin or what kind of information was available. So I did a little window shopping to get an idea. Then I did a breakdown. What? Ah. Uh... It's a, a breakdown, but it was flying. Well, it's flypaper. Flypaper. What did you say this is? It's a breakdown. 
It's a list of points I need to cover in my report. Then I'm going to gather some information on them. Are you nuts? That's going to take at least another hour. She's right. Copying it would be faster. Yeah, but I like the idea of it being my report. Well, just copy it. Put your name on it, and that will make it yours. I don't think so. Kim, are you still doing your report on Benjamin Franklin? Did you check the media center? No. Why? Well, we just got this new film in entitled Strange Occurrence at Elmview Library. Hmm. Funny, that's the name of this library, too. Yeah, funny. It says it's about a girl who meets the ghost of Benjamin Franklin while she's doing a report on him for her class. He gets. They'll make a film out of anything these days. Let me see that. Fly film? Uh, I was going to call it an in-flight movie. Hmm. <clears throat> It says that the girl has to decide if she wants to put in the extra work to come up with her own words and thoughts. Gee, I wonder what she's going to do. I was wondering the same thing. Well, I'm going. Are you going to copy a report or are you going to hang around here all night? Well, if this was some kind of educational film, I would stop it right here and let the kids in class decide.